What is up guys? Welcome back. Today it's time to take on Kashtiro and Master. You guys have been asking this for a long time. Actually, you actually want to see this a couple of months ago, but uh now I got some <laughs> footage for you guys, so check it out. By the way, if you want to watch me play live, check out in the descri description below Twitch. Follow me on Twitch, watch me play live streams. Okay, alright then. I would say let's jump into one of those games. So the thing about Kashtira. Okay, the Kashtira matchups are basically really simple to be honest. If we go first alone full armor master together with Shanga and Shnook wins, we don't even have to set up a huge board. Okay, well here. In this case, we are going second. Okay. We are going second. He starts with Unicorn. He adds the Teosis. And then I like to add Teosis sometimes, but you can also add you can also add the birth. Uh, sorry, you can also add the unicorn. But if you add unicorn, they might already have Theosis and birth on their hand already. So it could be for nothing, basically. So it's not wrong, but it's, it could backfire really fast. That's all I'm trying to say. But ashing Theosis is usually never bad. He takes out my Axel for some reason, and now he continues with right side we got the maxi obviously maxi is like a game deciding card i know that but you'll see in a minute okay you'll see because everyone is playing maxi and the game without maxi just doesn't really work in the best of one format but now it's our turn it's our turn and we are getting hit with maxi also so in this case we don't have to feel bad that we had maxi because he also has it and he has unicorn so how do we play here now i like to start with small worlds so that we can add chinook because chinook ultimately is like a monster negate so we just can negate unicorn and he's not going to be an issue for us anymore so why not let's do this next up we can normal summon here zudri the boy and add Jamal. And you see, I'm only playing one Black Feather Woman, so Shaman right now is actually a dead card in our hand. But I'll show you that it's not even that dead. By the way, we're getting Ash here on Vata. This is, I would say, it's a really solid Ash target. Like, it's not bad. But he did not think of the play that I'm going to do next. We're going to get another normal sum plus... With the Black Feather World I decided to special back the Zudri. Yeah, that card is negated. And now we can normal summon again. Shamal. Also we got Magnumwood. And now from here on, it's up to us what we're gonna what we wanna summon. I decided to go into Bow on the Floor just in case, because he's drawing a lot of cards. I don't want to get hit with Nibir right now. So yeah. Next up, we're gonna do this. Tribute the Magnumwood so that we can get out the token. And now, with Baron on the, on the floor, I feel really safe to play. Like, uh, I think we can just now pull pull a full combo here. Now, Zephyrus bounce back the Black Fenner Woman, and now activate again. And then we can go into a Black Wing Dragon, or even Axe Synchro Star Strike. I decided to go into a Black Wing Dragon. Why? Because uh, this card in the graveyard is always insane, because it's like a free Black Winged Assault Dragon. Yeah. Uh, Schnook was already used this turn, so it's not gonna do shit, but it's fine. Now, in order to OTK him, I was like, alright, we gotta get rid of this um, Shangri Era. And now, I don't know why I decided to negate the um, Gear Claw, because this could have backfired really, really bad. But I was like, fuck it. Let's just run right into Nibiru and OTK. Because if I wasn't be able to OTK him this turn, I would be screwed. Alright, on to the next one. And this time we are going first. If we're going first against this deck, bro, even if they have Shifter, as long as we have like full gas, Shifter isn't even a problem for us, to be honest. Alright, so we're going to be able to add here. Twice. Doesn't look like he has anything, does he? We'll see. Yeah, 
no interruptions at all, so he probably has just full gas. I don't even know that we're playing against Kashir at this moment. Like, no, I'm just setting up my usual board. I was like, you know what? Let's do some Omega plays. And now I saw, okay, he has Theosis. Now, I fucked it up. I really fucked it up because I was supposed to normal summon Zudri first before before I synchro away with the Nothing. Okay, this is where I fucked it up. So, right now, Zudri in my hand is just basically dead. In that case, I was like, okay, best thing I can do is Bridget at least to go for Magnumut. And then go here into Axel. And then summon this Peter. Because now we can just rip another card from his hand. And now he only has two hands, two cards left with a top deck. And we got a lot of gas. So let's see. Let's, let's just hope it works. He starts with Prosperity. I'm lucky that his prosperity didn't ha hit that well. It was only an ogre. And now I'm misplayed again. I don't know why the fuck I would just... Why would I negate that, bro? Why would I negate that? The only thing that he can add is a trap card. And that trap card isn't going to do shit. So I should have... Like, not negate it, but destroy it at least. Yeah. I fucked it up here. I really did. He decides to go for big eye. Because he was anticipating maybe like an ash or something. That's why he didn't go like into his... Oh no, he, he was locked into into Xyz. That's why he was supposed to go... Okay, that's fine. And he takes away my Omega, bro. He takes away my Omega. So I'm, I'm looking in a really bad position because I missed that really bad. But how can we recover from this? And he also has preparation. The Unicorn is also back. Alright. And now I'm normal summoning Vata. He's using Omega, which is fine. I'll use Shinook to negate his Dispater. He takes away my armor master, which was like really smart to, to do that. But no. But now we got full combo. We got full combo here. And we're just gonna beat his ass. I'll take away his grind game with preparation. Go to Draco Berserker, summon the Soul Dragon, boom, 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 and do a lot of damage. Boom. Boom. And boom! This is how we do it. I mean, we haven't been hit with Shifter yet, but. Yeah, it's alright. By the way, the last two games, like this one and the previous one, was uh, Master 1. Okay, so it wasn't like platinum diamond, whatever. It's like master one stuff. Now we're going second again. And like I said, we haven't been shifted yet, so we'll see how far we can get. All right, this time I'm actually ashing the unicorn because I was like, okay, if he activates, if he activates dimension fissure right now before he activates unicorn, that means he's scared of draw. So he, he's desperate to add something with Unicorn. I'm like, you know what? Let's just ash that. Fuck it. Like I said, ashing Unicorn is never wrong. He takes over my Baron and then he has to pass on that. But Fissure is on the field now. And this is what I'm saying. Like, this is basically like Shifter, right? This is basically Shifter. This is even worse than Shifter. But I'll show you that this is not a problem for us. It's not a problem for us. He takes away... My armor master. The so Baron is gone and armor master is gone. And that was really smart to take those two away. But we have a lot of gas. We have a lot of gas and this is going to help us a lot. Because let me show you how to get rid of floodgates and proceed to full combo. We can just go into Chaos Angel. The boy Chaos Angel. Now chain one, Chaos Angel, chain two. Black Feather will just in case he has Imperms or whatever. Now get rid of his Floodgate. And now he changes Maxi. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. But we're going to ask that. We're just going to ask that, man. Oh, but he has called by. Of course he does. 
So what does that mean for us now? We have to play through all of this bullshit. Okay, and now against Maxi. It's fine, bro. Because we are playing Black Wings. We're playing Black Wings. Do, do I look like I care? Look at this shit. I'm just gonna get more extended over here. And that was actually a mistake. Because right now, I should not get rid of Unicorn that, that early. I should not have done that because now his imperms are also alive. So that's also another misplay that I did. Do not do the same thing. That's how I'm going to Dispater. Why? Because I want to be protected against Nibiru. But he's drawing a lot of cards. And if he draws Nibiru Imperm, I'm dead, bro. Because I've fucked it up. I misplayed really bad. Right now, I could have already gone to the Bell Face. But I was like, what if he has Nibiru and the Kirstiro Scareclaw? So I'm just running right into Nibiru Imperm. Like a stupid fuck, but that's just me being me. No, I'm summoning the second soul drawing over here. And face he changed Nibiru. I gotta negate it with this pager. And hope that he doesn't have Imperm. And he doesn't. We took on the Max C challenge, succeeded, and OTK'd successfully. And he's also getting punished. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Black wing best deck. Going first, going second. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Max C? Max C? Are you serious? Come on, man. Come on, man. Black wing best deck. I'm out. I did.